Greetings. I'm Daniel Auni, and it's my privilege to serve as Director of Music here at Christ Lutheran Church in the Inner Harbor neighborhood in Baltimore, where I play this beautiful Andover organ of 82 ranks. I also serve as the Coordinator of Organ Studies at the Peabody Conservatory in Baltimore. In this video, we're looking at the Advent Chorale, Herr Christ der Einge Gottesohn, Lord Christ, the Only Son of God, BWV 601. Bach notes that this same chorale melody can also be used for the text, Herr Gott, nun sei gepreiset, Lord God, we praise thee. This was one of the first chorales entered into the Orgelbuchlein manuscript, and it is an example of a cantus firmus chorale setting. We hear the chorale stated in its entirety and with little embellishment in the top voice of the keyboard. There is one driving compositional motive which creates the energy for this setting, and that is the suspirans. The suspirans is a figure made up of a three-note pickup. It is the first thing you hear in the left hand, right after the first chorale note begins the setting in the right hand. The most obvious statements of this figure are in the pedal. You will want to practice the pedal part by itself, making sure to use alternate toe pedaling for clarity. Imagine the line being played by a cellist or a gamba player and how they would lean into the top note of the octave leap with the lower note being softer. You won't be practicing this piece for long before you start thinking of Buxtehude's Preludium in C major. Which shows that there were common rhetorical figures used in Baroque music. You'll want to highlight this motive in the pedal, perhaps with a 16-foot reed, but remember that the most important part is the chorale melody in the soprano. So make sure that your pedal line doesn't dominate the texture. Best wishes as you study this delightful Advent chorale setting. <laughs> 